Man, Jay the chosen one, man. They are back at it with another video, man. Spread knowledge, love, and positivity, man. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Now y'all seen the hair, you know, I'm still getting used to it. I'm growing my hair back. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it freeform naturally. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay with uh, journeys, you know? Journey, the journey, every journey you on is beautiful, you know? A lot of us then came a long way. A lot of us, you know, is proud of ourselves in some way of what, you know, we committed to and what we done. So, you know, I feel like this is a very important video because let me tell y'all something, man. See my attention, man. Has paid off a lot just from focusing on myself and still having fun. You know, being myself and doing things I want to do. But lately, man, let me tell y'all something, bro. Lately, it has been people like, you know, few people. And one of them was my exes, bro. Checking up on me like of the week. You know, people has been seeing the improvements. Even when they don't even know, you know, that I'm on YouTube. Because most of the people that I met through YouTube is from different areas of the world. And there's people from my hometown that know about it and, you know, they don't really know what I do. But I spread my knowledge of positivity, man. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to what's been going on lately, people has been seeing the improvements, man. Let me tell you, man, when you really focus on yourself, really focus on yourself, your mind is going to widen. You're going to get wise, more wise than what you thought you was. You're going to unlock potential you never thought you had. It's gonna to come to a certain day where you just, you've been focused on yourself consistently and your plans, you know, changing persistently because when it comes to your plans, one thing I learned about my plans is that when you, when you make a plan, you know, not everybody plans work all the time. And when it comes to your plan, you have to be persistent. If this didn't work out, you have to make a new plan and one of the things I realized when it came to reading, because you know, right now I just uh, I just left the gym. I got back from the, I just got here at the library. You know, I've been going to the library. I told you I've been tapping in reading. I've been you know reading some of the books y'all told me to tap into. One of the main books I've been reading, Think and Grow Rich. I've been reading the Bible, just to, you know, because I never really tuned in the Bible. You know, and me and my mom was talking the other day. Well, yesterday I was telling her that she believed in the firmament. And she didn't even know what the firmament was. And, you know, the Bible talks about the firmament. And I haven't just read a lot, whole lot of it. I'm, like, kind of barely in it. But just, just reading, a, you know, reading certain books and just, you know, came to, you know, a lot of these successful people, you know, that, you know, there's successful people that you know and there's successful people that made ideas that no one knows. And when it, come, when it came to their plans... They failed over and over and over again when it came to their plans that they had made over a hundred to a thousand plans until until eventually one plan worked. And when it you know comes to you failing, I failed a bunch of times when it come when it came to certain stuff. You know, so when you fail, it's never that you gave up. It's never that you lost. It's just because it's just that you learned a new lesson and gained more experience with your life and what you are planning to do. And the more you fail, the more you get closer to what you want to achieve because you're figuring it out. And that's one of the main things that, you know, pushes people. But when you give up is when you fail. So when you, when I say you failing, when uh, say your plan didn't work, it's not that you failed, it just didn't work. You have to be persistent and be consistent with everything that you do. When it comes to going to the gym, when it comes to reading, I've been getting compliments of just me talking to people. People gravitating my way just because of my energy. Because they seeing what type of person I am. And me being more open and explaining my plans to them. And then people that I never met, my never knew. But I end up meeting and they like my energy and they end up supporting me. And I be telling people what I do on my channel. Telling them I spread my knowledge of positivity. I spread it to them people that, you know, need it. And people that I meet through my channel and people that I meet in person, they may help me. They may give me advice. They may give me advice when it comes to financially, when it comes to mentally, when it comes to spiritually, physically in the gym. 
people in the gym noticing my gains. Me and doing calisthenics, pull-ups and everything. And, you know, it's just a lot of stuff has been changing. A lot of stuff has been changing with what's been going on and everything else. So when it comes to you and you putting a putting aside to what doesn't matter in this world when it comes to, you know, you chasing women, you know, you chasing women and just a lot of the bull stuff you partying, you drinking every day, you attach. Everybody has an addiction. Choose your addiction when it comes to what you focusing on, because if you are on retention and you're not doing nothing, you got to understand that you're not transmuting that energy. You are not transmuting that energy, putting action, being able to manifest what you want in life. So when it comes to that, whatever you want, you want a new brand new car. You want to start your business. You want to do anything you want in this in your life. You have to put action. And when it comes to that action, you can't waste your energy around people that's not doing something with self. Because when it comes to settling, procrastination, it's, it's, you know, it's affecting your life. It is affecting your life. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to your life, you need a chief aim in life. You need to commit to something that you really want to do. And when, that, when it comes to that chief aim in life, make your plan to get there. If that plan doesn't work, change your plans up. If that doesn't work, change your plans up. If that doesn't work, change your plans up. The other day I went to Dallas. I went to Dallas. I told my mom I was going to get into IT just because of, you know, income and still do what I want to do. Still to make income and everything. And when I was there, you know, she was explaining me everything what IT was because for a couple of years now, People was just telling me about IT, I should do IT, IT this, IT that, and I want to go tune in. Now I didn't, I just wanted to go see what it was. It was a consultation, it was me and two other dudes. They was like way older than me. I was the youngest there, it was, you know, the lady came in, she was a professor telling us certain stuff. And then when it came down to, when she got to a certain slide on the PowerPoint, she was, you know, talking to me, cause I was telling her, you know, what I know about IT and she was explaining it and I just was not interested. And she could tell. She felt my energy, I was not interested. And, you know, she was polite. And then after that, we talked for a little bit after, cause I told her I was gonna leave. I wasn't interested in everything. And she said, find out what you wanna do. And I told her what I wanna do. And she told me to keep going towards it because I'm young. And she asked how old I was. She asked if I had any kids and everything. I told her what I stood for. And she just said, well, keep committing to that. And then she said that she like sees like, you know, good in me. Other people around the world, people will see that energy in you when you being real. Because I told her straight up, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Straight up. I'd rather, you know, do what I do to achieve what I want in life and commit to it when it comes to my channel when it comes to my music when it comes to qmo qmo for life you know what i'm saying i got tatted on me so yeah like i said people will see the improvement people will see your good energy transmute that energy and the stuff you are wanting to do and achieve in life so yeah i love y'all man keep taking care of yourself i'm out peace